Hey Star Wars fans and collectors, thanks for tuning into another video. Before I kick off this review, please hit the subscribe button. If you're not subscribed to my channel, I'd really, really appreciate that. And also give it a thumbs up. Um, give this video a thumbs up, you know. Well, you can give my channel a thumbs up. You can just sit there and do that. That's cool. Either way, here's a thumbs up for you right back at you. I really do appreciate everyone's support. So we're looking at Hondo Inako today. He is VC173. Uh, this is a essentially a repack, even though they both basically came out at the same time. Um, of the Hondo figure that just came with the uh, new big Millennium Falcon. Um, I didn't have space for the new Millennium Falcon um, or the money to buy it, that, that said. Um, I did have the Legacy Collection version and I recently sold that uh, over the last year or two. So I needed space and uh, with the barge now in my collection and the Razor Crest coming next year, I needed all the space I can get. <laughs> um, but this looks to be a cracking action figure. Um, I love the card based on the uh, animatronic puppet from Galaxy's Edge. Um, I really want to get over there at some point and uh, see Hondo in the flesh. Flesh. All right, guys, let's, uh, let's crack him open and have a close look. All right, and here we have the coolest pirate in the Star Wars universe. Um, Hondo Anaka, he looks fantastic. Just a really great version of the character. Um, he turned out fantastic. I really, really dig this figure. Uh, Accessory-wise, he just comes with his blaster. As you can see. It does fit in his working holster there. But I do just really want to zoom up on that head sculpt. That is brilliant. Love that so much. He looks great. Um, yeah, just a really good interpretation of Hondo Anaka. Um, I would have loved to have seen a realistic uh, Clone Wars version um, with his little, with his little Kowaki and Monkey Lizard pick muck muck. Um, that would have been a, that would have been a really cool uh, figure as well. But uh, I'll take this one because, uh, yeah, he's a nice counterpart for the six inch one that recently came out. I actually like this sort of brighter red a little more, to be honest, than the sort of maroon of the Black Series one, but that's okay. Um, I dig both. These black shiny boots. A little bit of a red scuff mark there, probably from the plastic of the cape or some paint elsewhere. Not a big deal. Really like his sort of his braids and dreadlocks and stuff that are hanging out from the back of his head. His helmet looks like a shell. You know, I'd love to see this guy come into live action at some point. He'd uh, he'd be hilarious, I reckon. It's one of the one of the great characters that have come out of the minds of uh, Dave Filoni over the years, uh, through the Clone Wars and Rebels. And now as a uh, animatronic puppet at Galaxy's Edge in Disneyland and Disney World. It's really really cool. Got the right articulation, got all the good stuff. I think he's uh, going to live on my Disney Galaxy's Edge shelf. I have a little shelf dedicated to uh, Disney related things and pins and yeah, things like that. So I think he's going to go and live over there. I just don't know where to put him in my uh, vintage collection. So that's where he's going to live. Alright guys, let me know in the comments what you think um, about this figure. I'm pretty... Pretty happy with him. I'd love to hear some thoughts and feedback and all that good stuff. Got some more reviews coming right up, so stay tuned. Until then, may the force be with you, always. We're a little rushed, so if you'll just get on board, we'll get out of here. 